Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. Keep your eye on that seagull. Because that seagull is definitely not happy I'm flying today. And right about now, he's coming up to attack me. Ooh, that was close. But I found my way here a couple days ago, back at the ye old homeless camp here in Oakland, California. And as you can see, it is out of control. I had debates on whether to show the world how the world is living here in Oakland. You can see this is just a normal community of people with a neighbor that's working on his car and one talking to the other neighbor just like you would do. She's down there dancing a little bit. Well, the reason I brought you here today is everybody's dancing here today, but the future of this camp is unknown. That house that has a blue tarp on it. Well, the future of that house will go up in smoke. Yes, the RV at your bottom right and those two RVs in the middle of your screen will be gone, up in smoke. I hate to say I predict the future, but I knew this was gonna happen. You can only have this many vital people, volatile people. And you can see it had come to a, what they call a burnout in the homeless community. How this fire started is anybody's guess. But these people that did not have a home are now completely homeless. Once you have an RV or maybe a fifth wheel or even a car to live in. But if you get in an argument with any of your neighbors this could happen to you. That could be the lady crossing the street now who lost her home. We really don't know what started this massive fire, but I am just grateful that it didn't spread to the other homes. With this fire draws attention. And now the news cast put it all over the nightly news and has drawn attention to this camp. You can see they have not done their part of helping clean it up. These people have no place for their trash or their waste. You, there are, are no bathrooms here. So it's hard enough living without a home, much less a toilet or a sink. So next time you wash your dishes or use your shower, be grateful. I debate on putting these homeless videos out, but I really 
think the world should see this and be grateful for everything they have. I know after I watch these videos, I'm more grateful for everything and everyone. And these people are people just like you and me, believe it or not. Some of them have mental disorders, some have drug problems, some have alcohol problems. But guess what? That's in the real world, too. In, in the workforce, there's a lot of those components. We used to take care of our mentally ill and allow no public vagrancy. We used to enforce the laws of no loitering and no trash disposal on the streets. No urinating in the streets. No defecating in the streets. Today, these laws are simply ignored because there's just too many people with no money to enforce. So this is our future in California. And hopefully it won't be me. And hopefully it won't be you. But as always, I want to thank you for joining me on this little flight into no man's land. where no man or woman should land. So until next time, be grateful for everything so simple as a roof over your head and running water in your sink. Until next time, Peace and love. Bye-bye.